So next up, I'm actually going to do the extract long section. So we're going to be doing it um, in the terrain module, but I need to first select a road file to work with. So I'm going to go to the select road file and I'm adding a new road file and we're going to call that terrain long section just so that we have clarity on which road we're working with and then just which layer I want to store that information with. So for now just the natural ground that I want to extract the data for. Okay, so next up we need to insert our alignment. So it's alignment horizontal graphical insert and it'll ask you for your start PI, the start of this alignment and I'm just going to call that start. Okay, and then we're going to go across the pond through the island as well, the same as the quick profile viewer and then just right click finish with that alignment. So your alignment doesn't necessarily have to be a straight line. The next up you have to coordinate that alignment. So it's alignment horizontal coordinate. I'm just going to coordinate at 10 meter intervals. So just working out a coordinate at every 10 meters along that alignment. And you'll see that in the output window. Okay, just checking the alignment display settings in the road plan layout settings. So basically what line you want to see and then at what chainage interval you want to show the, the actual chainages, the chainage text. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the actual terrain long section extraction. So back to the terrain module and then it's terrain long section extract. And I'm going to extract from that island and ground merge surface. I'm storing it to that natural ground road layer. I'm just going to extract it from the brake line information. And I'm using those changes from the road file that we've just created. In this case, we want to height all the kink points or bend points. But if you're using uh, inserted DTM points to set your alignment, the name option, then you wouldn't want to necessarily height them if they've already had uh, height given to the to the DTM points. Okay, so I've run that uh, long section extraction. You can see in the output window, we've got levels at every chain edge and at every king point. So you can see there's my top of island 1347 level okay so if you don't output it to a road file then you can just get an output of the changes and levels but if you want to plot it then we need to have it in a road file so I'm just going to show you the plotting routine the plot routine for this long section so I'm just going to open the sheet file editor application and load that um, single carriageway long section sheet file. So it's just the normal road single carriageway long section sheet file that we use to plot the terrain long section. I just want to make a few changes over here. So I'm going to the grids. When I ran a trial run I noticed the grid interval was a little bit small. So I'm going to make the vertical grid spacing a little bit bigger, 5 meters. Horizontal grid spacing still fine. And I just want to change that plotted lines color. So the natural ground, I want to make it a little bit brighter. I'm going to make it red for this exercise routine. Just make it a continuous line as well. So that's the line one, our ground line that we're going to plot in the long section routine. Plot routine. Okay. So just going back to my design project and then to the plot generate and selecting the single carriageway long section sheet file. Creating dynamic layouts. You set your horizontal and vertical scales. 
and I'm setting to plot the natural ground for this particular long section plot. Okay, and then you can see the profile through the canal and through the pond with the island in the middle. If I zoom in, you'll see my island levels 1, 3, 4, 7, bottom of pond level that 1340. You guys had watched the previous webinars.